Y'all, you cannot tell me that I am not Mariah Carey circa 1990 something, something, something. Baby, the butterflies, the hair. I am her. She is me. And it is almost Christmas time, so baby. Hey, you guys, it's me, Deja Sky from Pulse Rock Racy the 14, and welcome back to my channel. Ba ba ba. Ba ba bo. Ba ba. Yeah. Well, you guys, welcome back. We are doing another top 10 video. These are by far, I think, some of my favorite videos I've done on my channel. They're just super fun. You guys have been liking them as well, so baby, let's just keep doing it. If it's not broke, unlike me, don't fix it. As always, you guys, before we get started, please do not forget to compliment. Need I say more? Like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into this top 10 video. This list is going to be top 10 exact moments where a queen won or lost a lip sync. Now, this list is inspired by a subscriber of mine, Ken Thwang436. Hey, boo, this is for you. So, baby, let's get into it. So, coming in at number 10, it is going to be Carrie versus Alyssa. And this is when Alyssa's money gun did not work and she chose to still grab the money and throw it in the air. This is from season 14, baby. I was there in the audience. This lip sync was fine. It was a fine lip sync. Alyssa was giving it her all. Carrie was giving it her all or as much as she could in that dress because that was the actual dress, you guys. I don't think you guys get the fact that that was the actual, you know, Versace dress that Jayla wore on the runway. When that money gun did not work. We were like, okay, strike one, that's fine. Nope, okay, try it again. Okay, strike two. Okay, the money fell on the floor. Great, keep on performing. And then she proceeded to pick up the money, make a moment of it, and throw it in there. It just, it was a no-no. For, it was a no for me, dog. It was, it was a no. I love my sisters. They are beautiful, gorgeous creatures of this earth. Stunning, stunning, stunning. But that was the exact moment where I was like, okay, now I know who won this lip sync. Moving on to number nine. This is going to be Mo Hart versus Trinity the Tuck. And the exact moment is when Mo Hart's wig flew the off. Okay, this moment frustrates me so bad because in my opinion, I feel like Mo Hart was winning this lip sync. I mean, she had... More variety. I think Trinity, you know, she was in a gown. She was doing the old school diva way. Great. Love it. But this song is such an iconic Mariah Carey <laughs> song that I just expected a little bit more. And then I was like, okay, Mo's got this, baby. Mo's going to be the first winner. And then her wig flies off into the rafters. Baby, you did an entire talent show. Entire talent show. And you have to do that talent show twice. Your wig did not fall off. It stayed on. But for some reason, you didn't think, okay, let me like glue it down even more or not do that many head whips. It was, baby, this was the moment that I was like, Mo, you, oof. Moving right along to number eight. This is going to be Raven versus Nicole Page Brooks. Iconic lip sync, by the way. And the moment that Raven hands down won this lip sync is when she walked to the back and said, never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. The reason why I remember it so much is because of that one exact moment. Because I think Nicole did Nicole great. I think Raven did Raven great. But there was nothing that really like stood out before that moment that was like, She's winning, she's winning, she's winning, she's winning, she's losing, she's losing. It was pretty much like neck and neck for the most part. So when Raven hit him with that, it was the gag. It was that moment that took it to that level of like, well, bye, Nicole. You know, peace out. Number seven is Detox versus Jinx. And this is when Detox did not know the words and pointed at her mouth and showed everyone she did not know the words. Woman! Lady, goddess, that is detox. When we don't know words, we don't point them out that we do not know the words. If you don't know the words, you can either Bibi Zahar Benayat, 
Honda Hot and over exaggerate things or keep it minimal. Like, you don't point. You don't point that you knew the <laughs> detox. And you, mama, you were and you were back then and now a season queen. So I was so confused. I was like, why would you point that out? Coming in at number six, this is Latrice versus Little Kenya Michaels. And the moment is ex <laughs> the exact moment we knew that Latrice was gonna win this lip sync is when we heard that it was gonna be an Aretha Franklin song. <laughs> Let's call it. Let's clock it, you guys. Kenya had no chance. In my opinion, I don't think anyone on Drag Race season four would have a chance to that specific Aretha Franklin song against Latrice. Sorry about it. I don't care if it was Queen Redacted. I don't care if it was any of the top three. No, you would have had no chance. So moving right along to number five. This is all the way from season six, which is my favorite season. And the reason why I keep saying that is because I want the world to know that Bianca Del Rio is my dad. But this is Darian and Dela, their first lip sync together. The exact moment where I knew Darian won is when she went and fake grabbed tips. <laughs> that is so iconic to me. It is so funny. It's so unserious. Like on season six of RuPaul's Drag Race, Darian Lake was a lip sync assassin. I'm sorry, baby. She was turning those girls inside and out, mama. She was doing the damn thing. Woo! Sickening. Moving right along to number four. This is Kennedy versus Katya. And the moment I knew Kennedy won was when she flew jump split off the stage. Okay, let's call a spade a spade. As much as people hated season seven, I'm sorry, it is one of my favorite seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't know why, but in my opinion, I think it was the cast. I think the cast was just great, well-rounded queens. You had something for everyone. This is obviously the start of like big social media presence. So you had big hitters, Pearl, you know, Miss Fame, Trixie Con You just had like amazing characters on season seven of RuPaul's Drag Race. So let's debunk that and put that away. I'm sorry, season seven was sickening. So at this point, I loved Kennedy and Katya. So I was like, no, they put someone else. I don't care. Like I love them so much. And this lip sync was neck and neck, in my opinion. A lot of people think that like Kennedy devoured her. I would say Kennedy devoured her in the third act of the song, but it was just such a good, sickening performance. And then Kennedy threw the jump split off the stage and with passion, baby. And I was like, yep, that was the deciding factor. That was the moment where I was like, okay, Kennedy. Kennedy did that. Katya did that, but Kennedy did that a little bit more with that split. And if you want to see Kennedy, <laughs> might as well shamelessly plug, if you want to see Kennedy, you can see her at RuPaul's Drag Race Live now till the end of this entire year. Baby, you're going to see her split. She is going to give it to the children. You can also see me as well at Drag Race Live. <laughs> you're just shamelessly plugging everyone and being me. We are down to the top three moments, baby. So number three, oh, so iconic and iconic for the worst possible way. But this is gonna be Nina Bonita Brown versus Valentina. And the exact moment is when Rue said, take that thing off of your face and she refused. There had to be a purpose. I was like, there has to be a reason why she is not wanting to take this mask off. And then when she took it off and it was like red chapstick, wasn't a fully drawn Valentina gorgeous lip. And then she knew what? Um, how many words were in that chorus, Shay? Nina did the damn thing. Even if Valentina knew those words, the way that she was performing the song really wasn't giving what I would have interpreted the song as. Do you know what I mean? Like Nina was turning it the F out. So number two on this lip sync of exact moments where a queen won or lost. This is going to be Coco versus Alyssa. And this is when Coco did her sleeves so beautifully. These are two titans of lip syncing. Titans of lip syncing, baby. They are some of the best lip syncers. Like, let's just call it like we see it. This lip sync, sickening, sickening song. Paula Abdul, mama. First moment we could do is when Coco pointed at her lips, and this time, knowing 
the word. She was da 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 That was sickening. But I think what really took it there was the sleeve moment. She made... I don't know if she was like, you know what, I might be lip syncing, so let me make this into like a cha-cha. But those sleeves, which I've recreated, not in that exact color, but I needed those sleeves for you. I was like, mama, I need these sleeves. It was so sickening, fit so beautifully. You guys, I was mesmerized. I was mesmerized. So number one. Woo, number one. Number one. Number one is Shea Coulee versus Sasha Velour when Sasha released the rose petals from her wig. Give me a moment because I don't think that this will ever be topped on RuPaul's Drag Race. Obviously we have seen wig reveals from Roxy Andrews. Hello, diva, mother. Rose petals. And the fact that it was crescendoing this already fantastic lip sync by both of them. Okay, already fantastic. It was crescendoing with even more emotion from Sasha Velour. Sasha Velour is one of the most like physically and facially emotional performers. You know, she doesn't rely on dance moves. She relies on the face, which is what a lip sync is. But the fact that she took it off, the crowd went I wish I was there. I wish I was there. When a and then the fact that it was like, oh no, like, yes, I did this, but baby, I'm going to still give. I'm still... Sasha Floor. Well, you guys, that was my top 10 list of exact moments that a queen lost or won a lip sync. As always, comment below. Do you have any ideas for top 10 lists? Do you have something else? Would you like me to review things? Would you like me to do more makeup? Whatever you want, baby, I am hopefully here to please and make sure that you guys know that you are appreciated because hands down, you guys are the reason. We are almost at 20K followers. That's sickening going from nothing to 20K. I mean, my goal is 100K. I want to get to 100K at some point in my career, but baby, we are just going to turn these videos out and it's going to be sickening. As always, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.